See, Sarvam Khalo Ida Brahma means uh, everything is consciousness. Idam means this. This Idam that is Adam. Adam means that. Idam means this. Everything here, what you see, is a consciousness. Chetana. The consciousness has a mind and matter. Should I start recording this? Yeah, yeah. So. What they say, what he says, said, Sarvam Kalu Ida Brahma. Everything here is a consciousness. Now, is stone consciousness? Is stone consciousness? How? It came from consciousness. It's like That's a. That's all theory. It came from consciousness. Who told you? It's like a. Like a dream. <laughs> They're all theory, yeah. <laughs> you are telling theory. Is stone consciousness? How? Because I see it. So what? Is stone consciousness? Kalu Chetana na. Stone consciousness. What you see as a stone, Kallu, Adiyanadu, is a thought in you. Right? The stone is nothing but a thought in you. Are you seeing the stone or are you seeing the thought? What are you seeing? Are you seeing the stone or are you seeing the thought? Alajan Nortero, Kal Nortedra. New Kal Nortedra, no Alajan Nortedra. What are you seeing? Kal Nora Lim Kanala, Lim Kanan in Thor Alajan Matra. Kalu Idan the Alajan Bertha, other Norted new, Kal Nortela. What you are seeing is a mind modification. Mind modification is nothing but consciousness. Are you getting what I am I am not speaking of theory, I am saying practical, real practically. What you are seeing as a stone is going through eyes, light, it is going through light, uh, it is becoming light, it is going into eyes. It is modifying the mind and awareness is seeing the modified mind. Awareness is not seeing the stone. Manasali and Bichar is the other note. That's now. That's the other note. Manasali and Chitra. That's it. Kalanam can't tell. Manasali and Bichar can't tell. We are seeing consciousness only. Correct? Yes or no? But awareness is equal to consciousness. Nimya kill and go to the Nanagi. Just what, what we are seeing, we are seeing. Uh, what we are seeing, Allah, but I am seeing. I am seeing. seeing. Uh, uh, he is seeing. Ashtay. What you are seeing? Adrally in conscious uh, matter. In mode. Judgment illa. Oh. What we are seeing. Uh -huh, but what you are seeing is I am seeing. It is not stone. You are seeing consciousness. Mm. Uh, consciousness and awareness illa. Illa. Had they do. Yellow Bogonta, some sooner could they are there. But Yella Bogonta, Yella Bogonta, the air continuity of the axum sumna. Particular thing, Matra, really now we see a consciousness. We can look there. Color consciousness, eh? Ah, it is something like Bogonta color with the Mandalitane, Melitane, Gardilitane, and the other yellow. So, I continue. I mean, why hate you? But we are not feeling that presence. Why? Lack of. So, the stone is not even mind modification, mind is consciousness. 
What is the difference between mind and consciousness? Mind is consciousness. So mind only like that. There is a I am and the stone is. I am and stone is. There are two parts. Nanu matto stone. Nanu matto kallu. I am and stone is. There are two parts to this. All right. Adhikke nimbe if you have to explain understand correctly. Can you see this? This is television set. This is not own. Okay. Television set, but not own. They are they are actually made up of one two. They have become one. Just only for a little can't see the picture, but they are they are not separate. Even Magna is on television only. He has become involved in the television set. Now he is different from television set. He has a feeling that I am watching television set. Okay. But otherwise he is fully involved in the program. So now I can say these two are have uh, become one two aspects of same thing, right? So this is a mind which is self, and this is world, which is actually again a mind. So both you are seeing as a both are part of the same thing. You have the mind and the world. Mind is consciousness, world is consciousness. Okay, together they become consciousness. But Prabhu, the same thing happens in a dream also, right? Like the seer and the seen, they come from the same source, right? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> you call this is not a dream? Yeah, it's a dream. There is no dream girl, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> is this reality? Uh, it's a dream. <laughs> the seer and the seen both are from the same source, the consciousness. Now. As long as they are two separate, I will say mind and matter. Okay, self and non-self. Okay, now self and non-self are one. They are not two different. The moment they become one, then what remains is awareness, because they dissolve into each other. Gotakti, gotakti, ya? You understood? I am seeing you. Okay, I seeing and you. There are three things. I seeing and you. Nanu, no do we ke? But no do no. It's called triputi. I seeing you. All right. There's a process of seeing. There's I and you. Correct. Now let us say seeing dip disappears. Then I and you are one because there's no experience otherwise. Correct. Seeing is splitting. Now, who is bringing the concept of seeing? Mind is bringing the concept of seeing. Are they there? Without mind, there is no seeing. Just be. I, you, and see. Nanu, neu, but no do we care. If no do we care concept, yar tarthe the mind tarthe the. If that no do we care is gone, seeing is gone. I and you are one. Now, when that way will go? When the mind becomes silent. Now the mind is silent. When the mind is silent, I and you are not there. The seer and seen is not there. Only being is there. Awareness is there. Are you getting what I'm saying? Logic. Yes or no? Yes or no? It's also too complicated. Or what? No, I mean, I could digest this then. Who yeah. <laughs> has to digest? <laughs> <laughs> See, there are three things. Seen. There is a stone which is seen. There is a seeing. Okay, there is seer. Seer is what? Sakshi. No one here is sakshi. No one here is also manasu. Seeing is manasu, which includes the eyes also. And this is seen. right so now the seeing is giving thoughts 
the thought sees what separates out seer, seen, and seeing. Now there is no thoughts, just seeing is happening. Then where is the seer and seen? They are on one being, Paramatma. What God is such a vague concept, huh? is very very solid reality. <laughs> but but it's it's really subtle, right? I mean, what subtle? It is very gross also. <laughs> It is the only reality. So we all say just, uh, just uh, Paramatma is Sarvantarami is everywhere, all this is a dream and all the other, uh, some theory. Eh? This is the all Advaita and all theory, is it? Hmm? All Advaita and all theory, yeah? huh? All this is a dream and all big, big uh, words, is it? It's all reality. Mamata, thank you. It's not subtle, it is gross also. Mahato Mahiyan, God is called bigger than the biggest, is grosser than the grossest. Anoraniyan is smaller than the smallest, subtler than the subtlest. Both are true. So if you are looking for God in subtler than the subtlest, you will find. You have to find look for God in grosser than the grossest also. <laughs> I think the confusion is because of the tendency of the mind to, you know, like, what do you say, uh, have some object. There is no object. There is the object. In my dream, I, am, I alone am there. <laughs> you think you are there, but I know that you are not there. See, we say all this is God, no? Everything is God, no? Is this stone God? How? <laughs> How is it God? Stone. This chair is God. How is it possible? <laughs> there is no difference between theory and practice. Are you seeing the chair? Who is seeing the chair? That's what I am saying. Theoretically, I can prove that this is also God, that is also God. Everything is not outside, it's inside, is it? Who has to experience? That's also I don't know. <laughs> See, there is a seer. No one. Who is the seer? No one. There is only one seer, Sakshi. Correct? Sakshi Matri, no one. Then there is a seen, which is stone. And there is a seen. Right? Who is doing seeing? Mind. mind. So Sakshi, mind and stone. There are three things, no? Clear? Sakshi, mind and stone. There's three, no? Now three partitions. 
you see this thing as C. If they are <laughs> joined together, then there's no C or anything, everything is God. And I'll prove that. It is also that. It is also there. <laughs> so there's a C here. There's a seeing and there's a seen. Correct now? Now, is seer different from the seen? No. Seeing is a problem. Okay? Seeing gives a feeling that there's a seer inside me, other than the actual seer. There's a personality is coming into picture. Alright? Nan Nortai Dene, and the Jiva Bantu, Eli, seeing Ali. When you say seer is not different from the scene, how do you say that? I am telling, no? I am giving the logic, no? x, y, z, step by step, step 1, <laughs> step 2, step 3. There is a seer, which is Sakshi, there is a scene, which is the world. And there is seeing, seeing is happening because of the mind. Sure. Right? If mind doesn't give a feeling that I am seeing, there is nothing, no? there is no difference. No? It is silent, silence is there. If the mind is totally silent, yeah. then what is the difference you will find? Let us say, imagine your mind goes blank. Where is C? Correct? Yeah, I mean, there is no concept. There is no concept. Okay. The mind is creating the concept of seeing. Right. Are you clear? Now, the stone what you see, this all, please understand, this as, as stepwise logic as uh, your uh, mathematics is. Pythagoras theorem proving and all like that, like this. Oh, no. you can <laughs> step one, step two, step three, tell it is like that only. So imagine there is no seeing, then there is only one being, no? Seer and seen is not there, you can't differentiate. There is being only, there is Atma, Paramatma. Are you clear? Now the problem is in seeing, not the seer and seen, which is mind. Clear? Now the seeing is a process. The stone is getting reflected in my mind. Now what I am seeing is mind's reflection of the stone, not my stone itself. Okay. What is there? The reflection of the mind, reflection of the stone and mental image of myself seeing. Correct? There, that's only where they are doing it. Right? The seeing mental image of myself is coming from memory. That I am the body and mind and intellect. Memory. So which anyway is not there in the present. It is only, only past. The past doesn't exist actually, really. So what is there in the present? The image of the object seen in the mind is there. And seer is there. Seeing is not there. Therefore, therefore what is left is only being, which is Atma. Therefore, the theorem is proven. <laughs> <laughs> Boss, these are all things goes on in meditation, contemplation, okay? All these are logic of contemplation. <laughs> Have you understood logic? Then only liberation will happen. When you see the totality in Paramatma, only a liberation will happen. If you see separation, you want liberation. There is no liberation. Mind is not 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 Mind Mind is not a problem. Mind is not a problem. Mind is not a problem. Mind is not a Mind is not a problem. Mind Mind is Mind is Mind is Mind is Mind is Mind is Historical mathematics prove more than now. Even logically, God prove. You have any questions, Subhu?
in fact in reality this doesn't exist neither mind nor the stone exists that is higher reality sarvam khalu id brahma aham brahma asmi aita then pradnanam brahma that is higher stage there is nothing is there only brahma pradnana awareness is there oh that reminds me the picture which i have written the last stage i have read pradnanam brahma the seven steps himalayan experience ah okay. seven steps last stage is pradnanam brahma Okay, go ahead. But I think the paradox of what you're saying is the mind doesn't have, cannot be there in that state. Mind is not there in the state. Right. It's only appearance. <laughs> you have taken mind to be real, which is not true. It doesn't exist. <laughs> I can just sit in silence. I can't tell you right. Who can sit in silence? <laughs> Who can sit in silence? <laughs> These are what are mind blowing experiences. <laughs> ಮೈಂಡ್ <laughs> 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 ಮಮ ಮಾಯಾ ದುರತ್ಯ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತೆ ಕೇಳಿದ್ರ ಓದೋರು ನೀವಪ್ಪ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತೆ ಮರ್ತೋದ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಟು ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ದಿ ಮಾಯಾ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಮಾಯಾ ಪ್ರೇಮ ನೋಡಿ ಮೈಂಡೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಬಿಡಿ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಆಫ್ ಈಗ ಅಮೇರಿಕಕ್ಕೆ ಅವರು ವಾಪಸ್ ಅಂತಾರ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಈಗ ಹೋಗ್ತಾರ ಇದು ಅದು ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಇನ್ನೇ ಮೋರ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಆದ see this is all what happens is subtle inner logic goes in meditation mm. deeper contemplation then the mind becomes totally silent when the logic is is clearly proven to mind what is logic the mind becomes question sir the moment the mind is not there then no answered question will come the mind itself is myth 
falsehood see mata ji is nodding right that means it's true what am i saying is true <laughs> confirmation from mata ji <laughs> The mind is actually a bundle of lies. It says, I am there, based on the memory. Okay, memory itself is not there, past. The present moment, if you look at it, there is no mind. <laughs> Gayatri has a question, who created the mind, Guruji? <laughs> Create the mind. The God who created the mind, Shiva, Shiva, or Paramatma, consciousness, He created the mind for experience in the world. He used the mind to become Jiva to experience the world. <laughs> so Jayati is giving clarity and her mind is so active that she is asking questions. So who created the mind? Shiva created the mind. Shiva, mind is nothing but Shakti of Shiva. The power of God. For experience the world you have to take different shape. So the mind is used by God to create the world which is universal mind. Individual mind is used by the God to experience the world. Shiva is Jiva, Jiva is Shiva. So Gayatri, I hope, I hope you have answer. <laughs> Gayatri's mind, Gayatri's, her mind is so active, that's why she is asking so many questions. Okay. Who created the mind? Mind is nothing but the power of the consciousness. There is nothing other than the power of Lord. Whatever you experience, that's Shakti. Icha Shakti, Dnana Shakti, Kriya Shakti has become mind. It's a Shakti of the Lord. Now Jiva is when Shakti, the Lord has forgotten, is Shakti for temporarily to experience the enjoy the world. When he remembers the he remembers that he becomes the Lord again. He is the Lord. Bhagavanta. Jiva is Paramatma. So yesterday I told uh, one more thing. The world, the world is in the body. The mind is in the body is in the mind. Mind is in consciousness, but consciousness is in not in these. That's what I had said. Adhanne kashap kedro. What is the how the consciousness is not there in chetana awareness is not there. So this is your transition awareness and consciousness. From awareness, child awareness is the father or mother, and consciousness is the child. From consciousness, when you say consciousness, mind, mind and matter. Awareness in the mind and matter has come. So mind and matter are one actually. See what you are seeing is not stone. You call not You are seeing the thoughts of the stone. Thoughts are coming in the mind. And my, what you what is coming in the mind is nothing but mind only, which is consciousness. And what is consciousness is nothing but awareness only. Like water, ocean, and wave. Ale, samudra, vatu niru. Ale vatu samudra bere lapa. Samudra vatu niru bere lapa. Water, wave, and ocean are not different. Water is awareness. Ocean is consciousness. Wave is Jiva. Ale. Now, where is the world? World is in mind. Every all life forms are nothing but in consciousness, mind. Where is consciousness? It's in awareness. Now, is awareness in this? Is 
everything in the world is in awareness but awareness is not in them awareness is not a object awareness is the subject in spite of all this awareness is still remains a subject kashyap is not there otherwise he would have asked the question in doubts is getting lot of uh, philosophical <laughs> these are the issues you have to resolve for liberation ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮಿಂಗ್ you yeah, know that way you can go that way approach also that also i have tried no i have told that also now i have told you the other logic also you are stuck in somewhere in logic i am giving the other logic also to go there in prashna idin re so gayatri you have any questions if like, you can mail sms our biggest question is who created the mind and why the hell is created the mind <laughs> i have to give you answer gayatri you only have created the mind and you are suffering <laughs> there's no mind ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಒಪ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಲ್ಲ ಡೈಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡೋಕೆ ಆಗುತ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಗೋ ಒನ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೋ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಗೋ ಟೂ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಅದರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ in dream some characters are there are they real are they there mm. gayatri has no questions <laughs> her mind has become silent so anybody has a question each stage of evolution ge spirituality this is a logic very different kind of logic salokya samipya sarupya savijya muti ko one logic ide adu yara yara alle irutara avargu one logic irutade adu daati hodaga next level hogutare indru hogalla alle kutu kontare so we have become thoughtless or lost in thoughts i don't know which one is the case <laughs> so, sometimes there is the clear intuitive grasping sometimes uh-huh. just trying to visualize it one who can experience all these stages 
of consciousness and awareness very clearly in and out is called paramamsa hamsa can swim in water hamsa dinar telaadutade aarama gee jodutade the water is nothing but consciousness so somebody who can go in and out of each stage of consciousness very easily is called paramahamsa <laughs> They give you another example of Paramahamsa. Hamsa is able to separate out water and milk. Neen mutu halan separate mali gaalate. Just like that, Paramahamsa separates out matter and sakshi matte prapancha. It is separate matte na enta. Real and unreal separate matte na enta. So actually that is one level. First level yes, but Paramahamsa is more than that. Paramahamsa is one who can go through all seven stages of consciousness of human beings. Waking, dreaming, deep sleep, cosmic consciousness, universal consciousness, absolute consciousness. In each of these stages, he can comfortably operate from any of these stages, in and out. <laughs> That's called Paramahamsa. <laughs> I alone am there. I am the truth. That experience you have to reach finally. There is nothing other than me. <laughs> the seer and seen. I alone am. I am light of lights. Awareness. And all this is awareness only. This realization should come. You just have to drop all these tools, right? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to drop. They are making too much of noise. You are not putting enough oil for that. See that gate just close. Just sound good. See, so making low, so much of noise. No. Like that, that, that gate can be without noise also now. Why is your, why, why your mind is so making so much of noise? <laughs> I am not saying gate should not be there. I am not saying mind should not be there. Mind is making unnecessary noise. Which is separating you from God. So about during practice, mm -hmm. uh, there are times when you, know, you enter into a state of silence. Mm -hmm. But suddenly... Uh, Just one minute. Eh? Hello, I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you? Ah, clock marked. Ready to video streaming. Marked today. Ah, you will pray. Mamat, super good. Hey, you will stop. You will stop. Marked today. So totally. You will stop. You will stop. Just till you will stop. You will you will stop. Marked today. Then stop totally. I am stopping after some time. Hello? I'm closing, I'm closing now. Yeah, yeah. You have to be very good actor, it's more of that. Okay. Fine. So, what was your question? Uh, like uh, when you're doing this uh, mm -hmm. uh, pranayam, uh, this one, this Bamri. This one. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, tell me. Yeah. Listen me. So, you know, you, there, there's a deep silence, mm -hmm. and the mind doesn't want to get into that silence. Mm -hmm. So, you know, how, like, how do you conquer Mind that? doesn't want to or doesn't want to? Like, doesn't want to, you know, it, 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 it experiences something deep, and, you know, it just wants to stop that doing that practice. Like, like if I do it for 12 counts, that's, a, that's, that's like a deep silence and the mind doesn't want to go beyond it. 
beyond the silence. Yeah. Mind doesn't have to go through. So awareness is still there, no? Yeah. So you have to become awareness, not mind. So, I mean, you can just you can just continue, I mean. No, no. Okay. Forget your mind. It's nothing to do with mind. It is about the awareness. You are not the mind. You are awareness who is seeing the watching the mind. Okay. So to become aware of awareness is this mind is silenced. So I think the, the the question is, so when 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 you enter that that state of silence, should you just go on or should you stop? I mean, how like the mind mind wants to just stop it, you know? Like, stop it. Stop it. Be, just sit and aware, become aware. No? Okay. Awareness is the finally what you have to do, not mind. Yeah. So Gayatri is asking a question: If mind becomes silent, somebody on on what does one become automatically paramamsa? <laughs> Mind becomes silent in uh, deep sleep. Mm, then uh, by de by deep sleep, nobody becomes paramamsa. Okay, because ignorance is there. Deep sleep, mind has become silent. In meditation, mind has become silent. Still, the paramam process doesn't become paramamsa. There's no paramamsa as a person. Paramamsa is paramatma only. Hamsa hamsa ya vidmahe, parama hamsa ya dimahe, tanno hamsa prachodaya. Hamsa Hamsa ya vidmahe parama Hamsa ya dimahi tanno Hamsa prachodaya this is called Hamsa, Hamsa Gayatri. Who is Paramahamsa? Paramatma himself is Paramahamsa. Awareness is Paramahamsa. Sadguru is Paramahamsa. Okay. A jiva who has become one with this Paramatma is Paramahamsa. Now he is not just mind becoming silent but that oneness has to be total experienced finally. Or rather realized because it's already there. There's no two rest, there's no separation. Sulabari. <laughs> 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 Sulabano, Hari Sulabano, and the other decay. Purunatasa has said, Sangha said, Hari, getting Hari is very easy. Sulabano, Hari Sulabano. Okay, it's very easy, it's not complex. Ishtella Bombay should be my one creation Doubt tailor, air, Prashna tailor, as simple. The Aran Bota, and Bobo, you're not a very Jiva, the very Paramatma, the Tan Kondo, they have an issue with mind It is so obvious. It is not even. It is not. It is no logic. <laughs> it is very, very straightforward and obvious. It is not obvious to you because your mind is not silent. It's not that you are sleeping. I admit you don't have to close your eyes. With I open eyes, mind is silent. Any questions? If you don't ask questions, I don't have any job. <laughs> My job is over. <laughs> should, I mean, so, you 
let Sadhana take its own course. Like, you should not force things. Everything will happen naturally. Naturally. Yeah. Yeah. naturally. Forget about sadhana, yaar. Can you do anything forcefully in life? No. Can you feed a child forcefully? No. Huh? Can you marry forcefully? Then you will be in jail. <laughs> huh? Why sadhana only force? <laughs> Tell me one thing you can do forcefully. You can apply forcefully leave in offices. <laughs> can you eat forcefully? Why question is coming for only for sadhana? No, 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 no. Witness is what you are. Witness is Bhagwan is. Vishnu Sasama Bhartala, Sakshi. Vishwa Sakshi. Re, actually, I'm telling you, it is so simple and so straightforward, so clean. There's no confusion at all in this. Sir. I'm telling you, there's nothing. It's very straightforward. I have told all formula. I have told all logic to you. <laughs> there's nothing else. Sir. For me, it has taken a lot of struggle to understand this logic. All right. But I have given everything. It's open book. Nothing else is for repenting. ನೀವು ಬೇರೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಏನಾದರು ಬೇರೆ ಏನು ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಇದೆಯಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಹಿಮಾಲಯಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋದ್ರೆ ಸಿಗತ್ತಾ ಏನು ಸಿಗಲ್ಲ ಇಷ್ಟೇ ಇರೋದು ಇನ್ನೇನಾದ್ರು ಮಾಡಿ ಸಿಗತ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಅನ್ನು ಸೈಲೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಮೈಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಟೋಟಲಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಡಿವಿನಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಾಲಿಟಿ ಒಂದು ಲಾಜಿಕ್ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಆ ಲಾಜಿಕಲಿ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗ್ಬಿಟ್ರೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಡೀಪ್ಲಿ ಸೈಲೆಂಟ್ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡ್ತದೆ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ನೋ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಆ ಲಾಜಿಕ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ಲಾಜಿಕ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಅಷ್ಟು ಸ್ಟ್ರಗಲ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ಸ್ಟ್ರಗಲ್ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಯು ಸ್ಟ್ರಗಲ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲಾಜಿಕ್ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಬಟ್ ಒಂದು ಸಲ ಗೊತ್ತಾದ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗ ಹಾಂ ಇಷ್ಟೇ ನಾ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ರಿ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ಏನಾದರೂ ಕೇಳ್ರಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಫೋನ್ ಸುಮ್ಮನೆ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಸೈಲೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಈಗ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಫೋನ್ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಸೈಲೆಂಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಇಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೀ ಸ್ಟ್ರಗಲ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸ್ಟ್ರಗಲ್ ಯೋಗಾಸನ ಪ್ರಾಣಾಯಾಮ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಧರಣ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಎಲ್ಲನೂ ಆಗಿದೆ ಸರ್ಕಸ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಇಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಹಾಂ ಎಲ್ಲ ಆಗಿಬಿಟ್ಟು ಹಾಂ ಆಗಿದ್ದೆ ಆಗಿರ್ತದೆ ಬಟ್ ಆಗಿದ್ರು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗಿದೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಆ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಗೈಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಸ್ಟ್ರಗಲ್ ಸೊ ಆ ಗೈಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ದರೆ ಏನಾಗ್ತದೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಗಲ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗ್ತಿತ್ತೇನೋ ಅವ್ರು ಅದು ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಅದು ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಐ ಆಮ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ I say it's simple. It has taken me many years to really get through all these uh, barriers. It has taken several years of yoga practice, karma yoga, bhakti yoga, everything. It has happened. After that, it appears so simple. Probably when, they, when those stages, some guidance was there, probably it would have been faster also. I don't, it may not be faster also. That may be its natural course. You can see that you ಒಪ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋರು ದಾಸ್ ಹೇಳಿದ್ ಒಪ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋರು ಸುಲಭನವಾಗಿ ಸುಲಭನ ಒಪ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋರು ನಾನು ಹೋದರೆ ಹೋದೇನು ಅಂತ ಕನಕ ದಾಸರು ಹೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಸುಲಭನೋ ಹರಿ ಸುಲಭನೋ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇನ್ನೇನ್ ಬೇಕಪ್ಪ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಟಿ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನೀವು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ನಮ್ಮ ಮಧ್ವಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ನಾನು ಬಿಂಬ ಪ್ರತಿಬಿಂಬ ಹರಿ 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 ಬಿಂಬ ನಾನು ಪ್ರತಿಬಿಂಬ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಅದು ಸುಲಭ ಇದೆ ಇನ್ನು ಏನ್ ರೀ ಕಷ್ಟ ಅದಲ್ಲಿ ಸುಮ್ಮನೆ 
ಬಿಂಬ ಪ್ರತಿಬಿಂಬ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದರು ಆಯ್ತಾ ಹರಿ ಸರ್ವೋತ್ತಮ ವಾಯು ಜೀವೋತ್ತಮ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದರು ಎಲ್ಲ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಅದು ಏನು ಕಾಂಪ್ಲಿಕೇಷನ್ ಇದೆ ಶಬ್ದ ಆಗಬಾರ್ದು ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಅರ್ಥ ಇದ್ರ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಆಗಬೇಕು ರಿಯಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಓಕೆ ಸೈಲೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಕುತ್ಕೊಂಡು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಹೊತ್ತು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಟು ಒಂದು ಲೈಟ್ ಮಾಡಿರಲಿ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಇದೊಂದು ಲೈಟ್ ಇರಲಿ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಅದೇ ಇರಲಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೈಲೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ ದ ಬೆತ್ ಆರ್ ಟೇಕ್